Thank you for being with me. What a beautiful sunrise color. Oh, Lord, my God. When I in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars. Well, I see the sunrise. <laughs> I hear the rolling thunder. Oh, thank God I don't hear the thunder right now. But I know you made it. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then sing my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God is sun not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing. He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, with shout of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God, how great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! And sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. How great thou art, O God, how great thou art. Praise you, God. Thank you for a beautiful sunrise. How great you are. And it is amazing, Father, how you gave your only Son. And as the scriptures explain in Isaiah 53, the grammar that is used there in that scripture in Isaiah 43. That the sins of the world were laid on the servant explained in chapter 52 of Isaiah.
the servant being Jesus. The Father and the Son were one and working together and making that happen. So that Jesus sinless, thank you that you took our place on the cross. Our sins were laid upon you. And Father, that you would do that to your own Son. And you, Jesus, as the Son of God, would be one with the Father to accomplish this. Thank you, Jesus, for going through the hell that we deserve for our sins on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for being willing to be separated from your Father at that time. And only that time in history, from eternity, being separated from your Father to experience the hell that we deserve for our sin. Thank you for taking the wrath of your Father that you had not known before because you were pure and holy and righteous. But thank you that you love us. You love us so much that you gave yourself, Christ. You love us so much, Heavenly Father, that you gave your one and only Son on the cross to be a substitute for our life. And you laid our sins upon him. Thank you, Jesus. You bore those sins for us. You, you took them away from us. Because we believe, Jesus, you are the Son of God. <laughs> the King of kings. You are Lord. And we make you the Lord of our life. We turn away from our sin. That just destroys. And we turn to the eternal God who made that sunrise. <laughs> love you and serve you because you love us. We can only love you because you first loved us. Thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. You defeated death. You rose from the dead. Live in us, oh Jesus. We thank you that you tell us in the, in the word of God, you do live in us. You do live in us, God. Through the Holy Spirit, you make your home within us, our Father God, our Savior Jesus. Live within us, reign in our life, rule our life this day and every day. May we see your mercies and beauty that you give us. Oh Lord, may we know that every good and perfect gift is a gift from you above. Every breath, every heartbeat is a gift from you above and to give you glory and honor and not ignore you in our life. And praise you every day. And with everything in our life, come before you humbly say, help me God, I wanna do this right. I wanna give you glory and honor with my life. Help me this day and help me every day. Oh Lord, to give you praise and glory and honor. Show me, give me your wisdom and have no doubting. For God generously gives, he loves to bless, and he will give us wisdom and knowledge. The ability to do it, the knowledge that he gives us. To trust him always, to trust you always, Lord. I pray that for our life, O oh Lord God. Thank you for the forgiveness of all our sins. All the mistakes in our past life. Yesterday and beyond. Forgiven. You, se you separate our sins as far as the east is from the west, you tell us in the scripture. And you say, go on, leave this, forget those sins. I love you. I will help you to not make the same mistakes in your life. I give you the strength to do all that I desire for you to do. I thank you for the scripture, God, that you gave in the book of Philippians, written by... Paul the Apostle at that time, your servant, whom you saved. Paul, being, the Apostle being in prison, wrote, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Yes. 
Thank you. <laughs> in his imprisonment because of his faith in you, Jesus. That you saw him through that. And you gave him those words to say. That you gave my mother to say and to write into my first Bible. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. And we know that all, the, all those things are things that you will, that you want for us in our life, that are good for us in our, in our life. You will plan for us in our, in our life. And I thank you for you will help us to accomplish that, Lord God. I thank you for such a beautiful, long sunrise <laughs> this morning, Lord. You should go through the memory verses. Lord, help me to remember the memory verses I'm, I'm saying to, to people now on uh, Carrington Cares. I'm Rob Carrington. Who cares? <laughs> no, you care, Lord. I thank you that you're the care. You're the one that cares. I tell people to encourage people. Encourage people. You never know what people are going through in their life. And I think, I believe God tells us the hardship people go through with the, the memory verse of Proverbs 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Slaughter. Proverbs, God's word, Proverbs 24, 11. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. And I think those are people who are, are committing suicide. They don't know the grievous mistake that they're making. They don't even realize the mess they're going to leave. They don't even know who's going to find them after they've killed themselves. Oh, Lord, I, sh I share this story only because to help someone who's thinking of, 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 of committing suicide. A friend of mine, he did commit suicide. And his four, his eight-year-old daughter found him hanging in their garage. I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it. His best friend couldn't believe it. And I know that man well enough that he loved his daughter and he never would want her to find him hanging dead. In the I can imagine a mess below him. But that's what happens. We lose. And God, I just pray that everyone listening to, to me now will never end their life like that. Never commit suicide. But to know that God created them special. Everyone is created in the image of God. And God sustains us as long as he gives us breath in this earth. He decides when we leave this earth. It's ultimately up to him that God decided when we would come into history and he has decided when we'll leave history we are not to mess with that order God has established I thank you Lord for this time and I thank you that you're in control and that's why we can trust you fully with our life. And that's why I have the memory verse, Psalms 103, 19. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. <laughs> Psalms 103, 19. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. We thank you that we can trust you with our life because you are in control of life. Ultimately, you are in control of life. 
And for those people who have committed suicide for some reason, you allowed them to. You could have stopped it, but for some reason you allowed them to. Oh Lord, help those families that have gone through that experience to know that you are in, you are still in control, Lord God, and you love them, and you have a way for them to go through life, a right way, a purposeful way, a meaningful way, because Jesus, you said, as recorded in your gospel, the word of God, John 14 records, you saying, Jesus, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's why I have the memory verse of, of John 3, 16 through 18, where, G, where God tells us, God the Son, Jesus, the Son of God, tells us that his Father, God, gives me his only Son, his only begotten Son, meaning his one and only begotten Son, not created Son, but one and only Son, that's been there for eternity with the Father, gave him as a sacrifice to save our soul from perishing, gave him on the cross to die in our place. And he raised him from the dead to live with us for now and forever. So John 3, 16 through 18, spoken by you, Jesus. Thank you for those, these words. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. In the name of the only begotten Son is Jesus. In the name Jesus means the Lord saves. The name Jesus means God saves. The name Jesus means Yahweh saves because Jesus is God, God the Son, whom the Bible calls the Son of God. So thank you for being with me. Share those messages with people, those words that help them not perish, this, to rescue them from perishing. I pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you for the beautiful sunrise, God. The beautiful mercy you gave us this day. The mercies of God you gave every day is spoken in God's word in the chapter 3 of Lamentations. Praise God. God bless you. Bye-bye.